time for another sewing project. So several months ago, while online, I came across these beautiful pair of shoes. And once I got these shoes, I was so elated. Now, I will just say this. I saw them several months ago. They did not have them my size, so I had to put myself on a waiting list if they were to ever come back in stock. All the shoe stores around my area carried the shoe brand, which is Shoe Republic LA, but they didn't carry that particular shoe. And I know you're going to say that it's pretty fly. And the problem was, once I got the shoe in stock, in my hand, in my home, I was like, what am I going to wear with this shoe? I base most of my outfits off of my shoes. I typically get the shoe first and then put the outfit together later. It's very rare that I buy the outfit first and then look for shoes. I've never been that way. Even when I used to play with my Barbies, like I would buy the Barbie because in the box, I like the pair of shoes that was in the box. That's just how I've always been. Here I am 20 years later still doing the same thing. So, Bought these pair of awesome, cute shoes, but I don't have anything to really wear with those shoes because they're pretty extravagant. And typically when I get something extravagant, wild like that, I will go on the lighter side and get something quiet so that that can be the point of focus. But these shoes are just so super fly. So I scoured the internet. What am I going to wear with these shoes? And then, this came into my life. Would you like to see what's inside here? Of course you would. This was so expensive. It came from China. But I found some material that looks just like my shoes. Isn't it gorgeous? Now, I came across it first on Etsy. It smells kind of strange. But anyway, <laughs> came across it first on Etsy. And I kind of communicated with the person who was selling it, but they didn't have the greatest customer service. So I also looked on eBay, which is where I usually look first. I didn't see it on eBay at first. But then once I found it on Etsy, I kind of used the same words to figure out if I could find it on eBay or not. I ended up finding it on eBay with free shipping. It was a few dollars cheaper. And they were going to send me um, more fabric as well. So this is one yard of fabric. It is cut in half. But it will equal out to, I think, 58 or 60 inches wide. If they were laid side by side like a continuous yard. But because of the way the fabric is made, it's a um, like PVC vinyl type material. It's It's durable and strong uh, it's not it, it was made for like shoes and handbags trinkets and stuff like that it's not to wear but y'all know me I'm gonna figure out how to wear it so it cost me $37 for this it came from China relatively sh in a short amount of time like I think they estimated that it should be arriving today and I've had it for like two weeks so the pattern that I decided that I was going to use with that to make my shoes stand out is this one here. It's by Simplicity. It's the 1425 and I'm going to do it in this view here. Now the fabric that I'm going to be using for the contrasting yoke area is this awesome Suede Says, I think it's Suede Says, fabric from Joanne Fabrics and it's sheer. It's like a sheer taffeta so I'll be using that on the yoke then the collar the bodice and the peplum will be the snake skin this outfit is going to be spanking I'm also going to make so that if I don't want to wear that peplum top with the shoes I'm going to be making just an extra bonus collar for it so it'll have some matching accessory 
And I'm going to see if I can find some cuffs. I know I've got a pattern where you can just make cuffs so that I'll have that available to me as well when I don't want to wear the peplum top. Next thing that you're going to be seeing here is me actually wearing the outfit. It is the last outfit that I'm going to be wearing to the series of four conventions held here in um, Dayton, Ohio for the Imitate Jesus um, Regional Conventions of 2015. So I'm pretty excited and I need to go get started on it because it's Thursday and I'll be wearing this outfit Sunday and I really don't have enough time to be standing here talking to you. So stay tuned so that you can see the finished outfit. So, let's talk shop. Here is the finished garment, as you clearly have seen in the pictures. But, how did it wear? Well, because it's made out of stiff PVC material, it was uncomfortable to wear. However, I did wear my corset underneath of it, and the garment itself is actually constructed a little bit larger than I am, so it did give me some room to breathe in there. My um, waist trainer was actually a lot more tight than this was however because this is not flexible it was difficult to kind of like sit in comfortably so I had to sit upright a lot in order to wear it to the um, convention but I got a lot of compliments on it and um, it actually did a lot better than I thought it did would do I took a blue blazer with me just in case one of the buttons were going to pop in the back but they didn't pop they did just fine one thing that I did change with this pattern is on the pattern it calls for bias tape to do the armholes. I just use a gross grain ribbon to do it because I couldn't cut any bias tape from this material here. And this material here was just kind of too thin. And really I was going to leave a raw edge for the armhole. But because this is so stiff. It was causing pain here and also in the collar as well. So I just overlaid the collar and the, the armholes with the gross grain ribbon, which turned out really good because I ended up wearing the light blue skirt. Now, why did I end up wearing the light blue skirt instead of the hot pink faux leather? Well, in the words of my hero, Tim Gunn, edit, edit, edit. I just felt that the pink skirt was going to overpower the top the top and the shoes are really the focal point and I didn't think that the hot pink skirt had anything to lend to this shirt so I just went with the blue scuba skirt now I did not make that that was something that I purchased from makemechic.com I've had it for I've had it for several months I've had it since back in the winter time or maybe winter of last year but I really love that skirt because it's a line it goes with so many things so well and that light blue just worked so much better with this than that hot pink would have ever done. Um, also, one of the things with working with this material, trying to apply the collar around was really difficult because there's no stretch in this material in the snake skin. So this was actually supposed to meet at the two points like a regular collar, but it didn't. So I put this button here as a distraction. And being that I'm the person who made it and other people just see the snake skin, like I'm the only one who knows that was a mistake and that was to cover up the mistake. Everybody else thought it was cute. <laughs> this raw edge, or this edge is raw, so it's unfinished. Another thing that I changed that was not on the pattern was this pattern called for four buttons in the back. Two here at the top, one in the middle, and one right at the beginning of the peplum. I don't know who can actually button four buttons behind their own back. But what I did, because I have a broad back and the clothes that I make tend to widen out, especially across my shoulders, I put a modesty panel in. And that was the best idea because the button was not 
far away enough to pull this closed during my wear. So I did have a little gap opening as you have seen on the pictures. So this modesty panel helped out a lot so that you're not able to see my skin. I actually kind of wish I had made it about two inches bigger and then I really wouldn't have had to worry about anything. But it did really well. Um, at some point during the day, this button here came loose, but I didn't know it because I wore a white belt with it which held it together. So actually unbuttoning it was fine, but I had to have my best friend button it up for me this morning. But overall, I really like the way that this turned out. Um, how often will I wear this? Probably once a year. Uh, I still have yet to make the cuffs and the collar out of this material here so that I can wear the shoes more often. But this shirt is definitely one of those one time a year type things. And as far as the pink skirt, I am still going to make that. Actually, all the pieces are cut out. All I got to do is make it. And it's a really easy pattern to make. So that only takes like a couple of hours to do that since everything is already cut out. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um... Moral of the day, lesson of the day. If you take your time and don't rush, you can make a garment out of something that really you're not supposed to wear. This is material that's designed for handbags, accessories, shoes. This is not to be worn as apparel. But as you can see, I did that. <laughs> so don't be afraid of materials that are not purpose for what you want them to purpose be purposed for go ahead spend a little bit of money just take your time just take your time and you may be able to come up with something super fly all right well thank you guys for watching and now the um convention season is over it was wonderful i went for four weeks in a row i was there for four sundays and two saturdays and one friday and um, it was just, it was wonderful. I cannot wait until next year for the next convention season. So if you have not yet gone to your convention, you are going to enjoy it. You are in for a huge treat. So, all right, ladies, stay modest and stylish.